Thank you very much for giving me an opportunity to share with everyone here about the youth perspective for the post 2020. And uh, a bit about myself, I'm Kitty Kun, and I'm a, I'm a coordinator of the Global Youth Biodiversity Network for Thailand. And yes, thank you very much. So um, about today, uh, what I will present to you will cover three points on the status of biodiversity, which will, I think the other presenters are, are like, already cover most of it and also the next is the post 2020 global biodiversity framework in case like any of you have not experienced or heard about it before a little bit brief of it and lastly the youth perspective so as we are like gathering here at the urban forestry meeting um and we all know that uh, to create like a, a, a coexist, coexist space for everyone to like to share with the nature um i think uh, we think that the most important questions that we might have to ask ourselves back is that, like, what do we actually need to live? So um, to think about this, um, definitely the first thing we can think about is the food, right? The food that we can do that, uh, the variety of the nutrients that we get and the, that give us the healthy and strong, the water, the water that is very vital for us to survive, the medicinal attributes from the um, natural resources that we can take and especially very important at, at the time right now with the pandemic and also the pollinators where they uh, have helped us in creating a, an automatically run ecosystem where we can get benefit uh, from the, the, the resources and uh, survive. And then when we talk about the human related activities, uh, we can think about like how the variety of the colors of the species, variety of the patterns that we see around us, it has been inspired us to create like patterns of the fabric of textiles or even like the weather that, uh, that, that we live in. It also inspires us the, the way of clothing that we use. And then for the art, the aesthetic and the beauty of it, it has been inspiring to us to be like uh, creative, to be innovative. And for the music, the hit of the rock, the flow of the water and the chirping birds next to our windows, it has been inspiring us to the way of we communicate and has, been, has become like the identity of our cultures from different cultures to cultures. And lastly, the spirit, spiritual elements of it uh, has been creating like the culture of respectfulness to the nature and the way we, um, we respect and have a relationship with the nature. And to make all of this happen, we, we can see that the biodiversity or the nature has been like the web of life, right? And the urban foresty um, should concern um, these elements as well to make us uh, survive and thrive. But from what we can see from the past, the extinctions, many species has been at risk for extinct and more and more and more of the consumption has been uh, occurred throughout decades and lead to um, the inequality that we all of us has experienced from uh, different cities to cities. So um, right now at the year of 2020 to 2022, um, the biodiversity uh, super years has been announced. And as it like the time that the previous 10 global biodiversity framework has been, has come to an end and um, the um, world decision makers are discussing about the next decade of, of the, 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 current, the biodiversity plan which is called the post-2020 Global Biodiversity Framework, uh, which is under the Convention on Biological Diversity, uh, which has three objectives for the convention. The first one is the conservation of biological diversity. The second one is the sustainable use of biodiversity. And lastly, fair and equitable um, share of benefits arising from the use of genetic resources. And to make this happen, the convention itself also have the implementation means, which is called NBSAF, or in the long, um, long name is the National Biodiversity Strategy and Action Plans, which um, national um, government will implement and uh, as a like, mechanism to affect and influence the national laws, conservation initiatives, and also the integration of um, activities and collaborations across sectors so that the biodiversity conservation can be mainstream and uh, conserved. And from our experience from the past 10 years of the framework, we've learned from the IG targets that we actually like have been using for 10 years that um, many of them are not achieved. Only a few of them have achieved. And, it can be, um, and we can learn from that that um, those targets are the way that we monitor and, and use 
to monitor or, or make biodiversity conservation happen in different settings has not been quite well. So this post 2020 global biodiversity framework is um, the global agreement that we aim that we all aim to be um, like a to be able to define the global actions for the next decades and also as we're while we're like the global um, decision makers are talking negotiating about it youth participation in the post 2020 GBF um, has been running for 10 years already as well and for this um, youth a group we call it as the Global Youth Biodiversity Network, or GYBN. Um, I see there were a hand raised from Michaela. Or um, sorry, anything? sorry. I, I see a hand raised for you. Do you have anything? Oh no, sorry, no. Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I was opening the chat and I click on the wrong button. Sorry. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so yeah. So the uh, GYBN or the Global Youth Biodiversity Network is a youth-led global network, uh, which we mobilize and empower youth uh, on their actions towards the life in harmony with nature, uh, which is compromised with the convention. And right now we have uh, millions of members across 172 countries around the world and also across 40 chapters uh, on each country where there are the group of youth are mobilizing and creating activities to mobilize the voice of youth and also activities that are compromised with the biodiversity and the vision that we would like it to happen. So for this um, global framework, uh, as we are the youth group, we are aiming to, uh, our goal for this is to create a just, implementable, and impactful post-2020 framework, which genuine transformative change can be created. And most importantly, this must reflect the priorities of the global youth as well. And after the like um, many of the consultations that um, we have done with youth from different regions, different countries, uh, it's been concluded that there, that there are three priorities that you'd like it to happen in the framework and would like um, every party or stakeholders to concern and um, make it happen um, on the framework or activities across sectors. The first one is the intergenerational equity and fully effect and effective participation of youth. The second is transformative education and lastly, rights-based approaches for people and the nature. The first one on intergenerational equity. This one, um, we see that all generations are responsible for the uh, in ensuring a fair and, and sustainable planet for generations that follow. So, and young people uh, should be able to fully and effectively participate. And to be able to make that happen, how meaningful your participation can happen, that is the, something that we all can, can, can find uh, about, out about it. Uh, the second one, okay. The, the second one is the rights-based approaches. We see that a healthy environment supports human rights to occur and, be, and being uh, respecting the human rights should be able to allow us to protect the nature as well. This is um, therefore we think that rights-based approaches to be included and credited to every activities that we do. And lastly, transformative education. This is not just like an education, but we see it as a learning journey in all settings, both activities from the education system and like for, for, for all eight generations. It should be referred to diverse approaches and strategies for education and learning that foster an active uh, citizenry aware of their place in the way of life and their role in society so that they can fully uh, capable of stewarding society yeah. towards a sustainable, peaceful, and equitable future in harmony with nature. And uh, we have like other learn and listen. You're, you're learn. actually running out of time. So maybe oh, yes. please uh, wrap up. Yes. Yes. Sorry okay. to interrupt. Sorry. Uh, yes. So yeah, we have other lesson learned as well. But um, yeah, to make this happen, if I would like to invite all of you to uh, consider these points into uh, your work and you know maybe reach out to your community of youth and listen to them on how youth can participate and make this happen together. Yeah, and feel free to reach out to us at the .org or the Telegram where the communities are there and um, create more um, impact together. Thank you very much.